Hey guys, what's up? This is Johnny Chow from Stone Sour, and we are here in Sphere Studios recording the new Stone Sour album. And I just want to uh, take a little bit to show you what I am using and recording with on this album. The main bass that I'm using uh, for most of these songs is uh, my custom Warwick uh, Streamer Stage 2 um, with uh, Babinga and Epsalia and Rosewood fretboard and it even has these fancy fret markers. <laughs> One of the reasons why I love this bass for Stone Sour, it's a very versatile bass. It's, uh, Stone Sour has some songs that are very mellow, also very intense and heavy. For the mellower songs, Songs that I want to go for more of a classic kind of a tone. I've got this awesome like push-pull knob where I can bypass all the elect active electronics and go for more of that classic kind of a uh, Zeppelin-y kind of a tone. Um, obviously when it's in fully active, I have that punch, I have that growl for the more heavier, bitier type stuff, especially when I'm playing with Cavalier Conspiracy, I really need that. And then if I'm, you know, doing a project like Fireball Ministry, I definitely need that classic tone, so I'm always on bypass with that. This uh, other, the other bass that I'm using is a Streamer Stage 2 Pro Series. Um, it also has the uh, push-pull, so I can bypass the electronics. One reason why I do like having this in my arsenal is being the fact that it's a bolt-on and it's got that maple neck, it's much brighter, it's got more of a crispy growl and bite to it. Uh, so definitely I use this on a lot more of the aggressive type songs. <laughs> and it's just one of these bases that it's just, the, the tone is incredible. I mean, my custom bass that, they, that they've made for me is really deep, big, and boomy. It's got a lot of body and a lot of presence, where this one is just a little bit more growly and nasty because of that maple neck and having that bolt on, where this is a neck through. This here is a five string thumb. This is actually not my bass. This is owned by Francesco, the owner of Sphere Studios. And, uh, you know, Having the fifth, that fifth string, you can really get low on some of that stuff where it's, it's felt more than it's actually heard. But this thing is a tank, it's very heavy, it's solid, it's even a bolt-on. It's usually the bolt-ons are a little bit lighter than the actual neck throughs, but this is a solid piece of uh, machinery right here. So the amps that I'm using for this recording, um, I've got a variety of different amps out here that uh, I have at my you know arsenal, so to say. Um, We've got this Avalon that's an amazing direct that is just uh, just warm and, and just all around natural feeling. Also going into the dark glass pedal which gives nice bite to it without taking away any of that low end. This Frank bass down here is a bass that I've been using on most of the tracks where it's, as you can see, has three simple knobs which I think is awesome because it's uh, doesn't have all this added extra stuff where you get into like wind up three hours into like making your tone amazing and you stand back and you're like no that's not the tone I need this is like just right there it's got a depth it's got a gain it's got a volume it's all you really need this is the bass it's the bass the foundation like the instrument as should be it's you know it's not that guitar like a lot of bass players try to be <laughs> um, We've been uh, checking out The Basement by Fender, also a classic uh, Ampeg SVT, and uh, the World Tour Class Eden. Um, but to be honest with you, the Frank bass has all tube head, really warm, but it's got a lot of bite and crunch to it as well with that, uh, that gain knob. The Chow Mastro Burger is a um, beef burger with uh, shishito peppers, which is uh, an Asian pepper that's not too spicy. It's got a little bit of heat, but more of a mild pepper. Um, burnt onions, which are off the, ha off the hook, you know, just thrown right on the grill, and then melted brie. 
and uh, sounds like a heart attack, but it's it's awesome. It's off the hook, and I always try to push my friends to go for that burger because it's uh, it's one of those burgers that you have and you're like, oh my god, there's no other burger I'm gonna have now. <laughs> the beverage that would go with it, I'd I'd say you know. I'm an IPA guy. I like IPAs. So nice, refreshing, you know, citrusy IPA, I'd say it would be pretty good because the burger's pretty heavy, man. If you were to go with a stout or something like that, it would be a, a super heavy uh, lunch right there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, I would say you can do anything from like a bullet to an Elmer T. Lee. And anything in between, but uh, I would say going with a nice rye, like a whistle pig rye, to, to cap it off at the end of that burger. <laughs>